everybody. Today we're going to be doing a video on women's self-defense. I, uh, about two months ago, I got uh, certified in women's self-defense by Steve Cardian at Defend University. And I'm certified in uh, two of the levels that he offers out of the four. So I have uh, Fight Like a Girl and Girls on Guard. And today we're going to be doing the first move from the level one, which is Fight Like a Girl. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, this is the first position you would learn, uh, the first escape you would learn if you were uh, taking one of my classes. So the first thing you do is you start from the down position. Now this would be, I am the bad guy. This is my girlfriend, by the way. My girlfriend, this is Jacette. Jacette, say hi, hi to all our fans. Good. So, I'm the bad guy. This is the general rape position. Don't do anything. This is the general rape position. This is the position most of the, most of the time you find yourself in. So what we're going to do is learn how to escape this position and attack the person so that you can get away safely. Okay? So first thing you're going to do is something called the shrimp. Okay? What I'm going to do is just sit up real quick. I'm going to demonstrate how to do the shrimp, okay, so that you guys can see what she's doing because you can't see it that good from that angle. The shrimp is basically, I have to tear my hip outward. So if I'm here on the ground, whatever side I'm going to, that foot stays on the ground and the opposite shoulder stays on the ground. It does not move. So if I'm going to go this way, my foot stays on the ground, I'm going to push off with that foot. And you see how my shoulder stays on the ground, and I make sort of like an L. I should end up like this. Okay, so one more time I'm here, and I'm going to push. And this is the shrimp, okay? Foot stayed on the ground from the side I was going to. My opposite shoulder stayed on the ground as well. I go the other way, it's the same thing. This foot would stay on the ground, and this shoulder would stay on the ground. And I would go ahead and shrimp out. Notice how I pick my foot up off the ground. You're going to need this uh, later on for the move. So I'm here, I'm go this way again, this foot comes up, this foot stays on the ground, and I'm here, make an L, other way, here, and make an L. Right? Now this is the first thing you learn before you do anything, because if you can't get that shrimp down, it's very difficult to perform the move. So you can go ahead and come lay down. Now very slowly we're going to go through it uh, about two times slow, and then we're going to do it a little quicker, a little quicker pace. So I'm just going to explain it all step by step. I'm going to start here. Now, whenever you do this, you need to make sure, especially if, it's, if you're teaching a class yourself or if you want to practice with somebody, make sure they're not high like this. This is not the way it's going to happen, okay? In real life, I'm going to be here, close, okay? Notice the difference between this and this. This is what's really going to happen, so this is what you need to do. As awkward as it may look and as funny as it may or uncomfortable as it may be for some people taking the class, you need to stress the point that this is what's going to happen. So you can't practice escaping something that's not going to happen for, because in real life when it does happen, you're not going to be ready. Okay, so we start from here. Now, the first move she does is she stops me. Now, if she doesn't do anything, most of the time I'm going to be here like this, touching improperly, things like that. She's going to want to stop me altogether. So I'm here, I got her here, and she stops. Notice she puts her hands up. I'm here, puts her hands up. Now notice her hands are straight. If her hands are straight, keep them there, she can pretty much hold me up. You see, no matter how big I am, if her hands are straight, she can hold me up. Now, if she, they're bent a little bit, I can pretty much just power down. She's, I'm a lot bigger than her, so, you know, an attacker would normally be bigger than you, you know, a man versus a, a female. So, you don't want to give them anything. If she bends her arm even a little bit, I can go ahead and just push down, and I'll be on top of her. And then it's very hard for her to push back up. Okay, now... Again, another thing is you want to make sure that you're touching the shoulders, not the chest. If she puts her hands just on my chest, what I can do is look. You see? Other side. I can just turn in to that. It's very easy. But if she has her hands on my shoulders, right here, not putting her thumb in here, just placing it on top. Turn this way so that you can see. Placing it on top. Just like this, it's very hard for me to move. A lot of guys, I mean, me, myself, I know I can come in from this position. I wouldn't know how to get past, through, you know, from the jiu-jitsu. But an attacker, if it's somebody who's trying to attack, first, she's not going to give me time. Second, it's going to be something unexpected. So I'm going to be here. She's going to hold, not putting her thumbs inside like this, just pushing right here. And she can hold me up again. You see, she's holding me up. Good. Now, from this position... First thing you're going to do, once you get that, you shrimp out, notice your shrimps, good, and right, that leg that went up is going to go on my hip, okay, again, 
on my hip. Now from there, from this position, she's going to go down and grab my elbows. Good. Right from there. And then she's going to come back to the center and put her other foot on my hip. Now from this position, I pretty much can't do anything. If you notice, I'm a little off balance. She can hold on to me here with her hips. Legs are a lot stronger than me if I'm off balance. I can't really get near her. Notice I kind of just push her back. And that's what you want, okay? Now, as an attacker, what's going to happen is... As an attacker, what's going to happen is, I'm going to be here. She's going to go ahead and trip out. I'm going to move, grab my elbows. Right from here, my natural reaction will be to pull away. And as I pull away, she's going to slide down to my wrist and start to kick, okay? Now, when you kick, you aim for the uh, vulnerable points, which should be, for a man, is center up. You want to aim for the groin, uh, solar plex, and the chin. If any of you have uh, ever seen like an MMA fight, in a cage fight, have you ever seen somebody get knocked out from that up kick, heel to chin? It's a very, very, very effective move. So, I mean, no matter how small you are, if I'm coming in, and at the same time you're kicking up, and I'm like this, and you follow up with some kicks to the groin, stomach, I'm going down. No matter how big I am, you will not be able to just stand there and take those blow, the kick to the chin, kick to the groin. So that's when, she, once I'm away from her, on the ground with her, she would run away. Okay, you never stay in fight, you just run. But the main thing, the main point is just to escape. Okay, so you're here. Stop me, shrimps out, put your hips, good. And then she would kick, kick, kick. As, a, as an instructor, you want to uh, just turn your head and let them practice kicking. So what I would do is if she would just come to this position here that we were in, and uh, grab my foot right I'm just gonna turn my head and let her kick past my head. That way she gets the motion. You wanna make sure that they're kicking out, 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 okay? You want them to practice doing this. Uh, I have a, a suit that I would wear, and when we actually do it live, she would actually kick me for real, but I'm not wearing that right now. For, but for practice purposes, while they're learning, just let them kick past your head, okay? One more time, we're gonna do it one more time slow, and then we'll do it a little quicker. We're here, she's gonna trip, good. And kick, kick, kick. So, okay, one more time. Just to explain it step by step. I'm here, she stops me. Remember, her arms are straight. She shrinks out. That foot stayed on the ground, and that opposite shoulder stayed on the ground. Automatically, once she shrinks out, that leg that's up goes on my hip. Her hands go to my elbows. Then she goes back to the center, puts the other foot on my hip. Remember, now she can pretty much control me. I'm going to pull back. She's going to grab my wrist and start to kick, because right away, you want to you hurt her. You don't want to give me any time. You want to do it quickly, so now. Okay, so now we're going to do it at a quicker pace. So if she starts up, I'm going to throw her down, come up, good, good, and kick a little quicker. Here, she comes up, start just to role play, throw her down, good, 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 very good, just like that, very quickly, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we'll be putting up a few more of these videos up. And, uh, you know, just leave your comments, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, leave, you know, just leave the comments or feel free to inbox me. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook.